All right, testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing. If you can hear me clearly, type Y in the chat box if you can hear me clearly. Those of you on the conference call line, if you go to liveonedream.info, that is liveonedream.info, you will be able to see exactly what it is that I am speaking today. Now, this is a very, very unique presentation. And first and foremost, thank you guys for taking time out of your schedule to even uh, hop on to a presentation like this. And this is a, something that I don't do often. Uh, I was approached by Ms. Mahogany Lee, and she asked me if I could you know, to speak a little bit on the topic of how to make money online, how to, how to use the Internet to your advantage in, in today's society. And is that even possible? Well, first and foremost... For those of you who don't know me, my name is Brandon Ivey. I am currently a regional vice president in a company called Vitel Wireless. I also own my own marketing company. I'm vice president as well and co-founder of a company called Niche Marketing. I also co-own a tutoring company with my brother. I have 14 years experience in network marketing. I am full-time. I work from home from my living room. In fact, I built my business and a five-figure a month uh, income from my living room using the computer now my background is not much different from many of yours you know I was taught that if I want to have financial freedom in America there's a couple of things that I must do that's go to school get good grades get a good safe secure job a job that will take care of you for the rest of your life and I'm sure you've heard that type of story before as well well that's exactly what I did I graduated from Morehouse College in Atlanta Georgia I went on to have a nice corporate career going on, but due to no fault of my own, I was laid off from my job. Any of you have ever been laid off from your job before? And if you haven't, I guarantee you know somebody who has. As a matter of fact, if you are working a job, if you put in more time, more hours on your job, I, gu I guarantee you know, you're not getting a raise, you're not getting promoted, and you better not even complain because you're lucky to have a job in the first place. You ever had that story before? You go home or you're talking to friends or family and, and you start to complain about the hours you had to work and they look at you like you lost your mind? Now, you're lucky to have a job. What are you complaining about? Now let's talk about those lucky few. The federal government states that 97% of all Americans will retire broke dependent on family, government, and friends by the age of 65. 97%. We have 10,000 baby boomers retiring a day, a trend that's going to continue for the next 10 years. So I don't need to convince you that the economy is not doing so well right now. You see it in your day-to-day -day lives, yet we are still doing the same things we have always been taught. It's the rat race, right? You know what the definition of insanity is? Doing the same thing over and over again, yet expecting a different result. And the sad thing is, the same thing we're doing, we already know, doesn't work. So people are now looking for alternatives. And here's the good news. Even amongst all of that bad information, this is the greatest time to be alive in America if you want to become an entrepreneur. The greatest time in history. Why? Something called the Internet. Anybody with basic computer skills and knows how to throw up a website can start their own business. Anybody can. There's businesses popping up every single day. As a matter of fact, if you have internet access, if you have Facebook, if you have YouTube, if you have Twitter, if you have an email account, I guarantee you're being bombarded daily with new opportunity after new opportunity. And a lot of it is, is, is kind of like overdrive, overflow, too much information. The hard part is trying to find the right one for you, the one that doesn't seem like a scam. Now, my job is not to tell you or teach you what is the right one for you. In fact, it's almost impossible for me to give you in just short period of time training on how to be successful in using online what I'm gonna do is open your eyes to the possibility of what is possible using the internet because I've done it and it didn't happen overnight when I made the decision that you know a job is not gonna work for me when I made that decision I looked at online I, one I didn't have um, you know two hundred thousand dollars to start my own brick-and-mortar business nobody has that 
I, I didn't have the time nor the money to go back to school to earn to learn a new trade or to learn you know business or marketing I, I needed something to happen today not not three years from now although I want to build for three years from now but I, I need something immediate impact and I keep seeing these stories of people that use online and they're making they're getting rich using the internet and all the average person and I was that person I said you know how how can I do that how can I tap into that the first thing that I would advise you do is to find a program that will teach you how to market online find a program that will teach you how to market online now there's hundreds of them and they're what's called affiliate programs and because of my status I don't recommend each any one particular program but that's what I did the, the, the system I first got started in when I decided I wanted to use online I, I, I went to a system called MLM lead system pro the value of that program to me was not to make money using that program but to was to learn how to use Facebook, how to use uh, YouTube, how to use Craigslist, how to make a video, you know those skills were priceless. That allows me to make six figures a year and more online. It took me two three years of of trial and error, but I, I jumped on those type of programs to learn. Not to use those programs to make money. That's that's where the trick is. You know, there's a difference between network marketing and online marketing. There's a difference here, and and it's up to you to choose what is the right one type of program that you wanna you wanna build. Are you looking for quick money and quick money that doesn't really last, or you may be looking for something that is long term and lasting? After this presentation, I'll share with you what it is that I do right now that allows me to make the type of money that I make. But let's uh show you here first and foremost the word networking the word networking and this is so important if you ever heard of that word before you know I, I didn't really hear of networking before and this is something that we all do anyway when we're in high school we network we have our own little cliques. We have our own friends. When you get to college, they really teach you to network. Do you think that the gentlemen who happen to be roommates with, with Mark Zuckerberg networked correctly? Right? See, you never know where that person's going to be 15 years from now. So if you develop a good relationship with them now, when they're nobody, imagine what that's going to mean to you 10, 15 years from now when they are uh, Tom, uh, a Tom, Tom Allen or a Bill Gates or a Carlos Slim. What that connection, I'm in business today with the gentleman I went to high school with. And here we are almost 20 years later and we're in business together. Networking is very, very important. And that's what business is all about. And that's what the internet is all about. Networking and making connections. Now, the three most basic programs, if you want to use online marketing, social media, and the network that you want to be familiar with, you want to know the basics of, is Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Now, there's hundreds of different social media platforms, hundreds of them, but these three is what the majority of people use, and I'm talking about not millions, but billions of people around the world are connected to this. So if you're looking to network, this is the first place you want to really go, you want to be familiar with. And there is no, you know, people think that there's a, a big secret to making money online. There is no secret. Online is just a different form of connecting one person to another person. How do we make money anyway? Well, face-to-face, -face, 
you know, uh, shake someone's hand belly to belly. But if, you, if you're strictly using that form of networking, you're limited to the amount of people that you can uh, interact with. You know, your, your, your family and friends, your neighborhood, people you went to school with that may still live in your city, or you have to hop on a plane and fly to a different city to meet somebody. See, the power of the Internet allows you to be able to meet people from vast distances, people that you've, you would have never have been able to meet anyway. Currently right now, I live in Los Angeles, California. I have over 10,000 people in my network. In my company of Vitel, I have over 5,500 people on that team. And less than 200 of them are here in Los Angeles. <laughs> think, think about that. Less than two. How in the world was I able to get to the rest of them? The internet is just another form of meeting somebody, like going to the gym or going to the mall or going to Starbucks. It's just you want to be able to use it to your advantage. So let's talk about Facebook. Here's some basic facts about Facebook. 42% of marketers say Facebook is critical or important to their business. 42%. I would venture to say it's higher than that right now. Facebook to me is not just, it, it's not critical, it's a necessity. I built my business using Facebook and YouTube. That is, it is a necessity, not just critical. Here's another fact. Facebook currently has over 600 million active users. Facebook receives 100 billion hits per day. 100 billion hits per day. People spend over 700 billion minutes per month on Facebook. That's crazy. Over 500,000 new users. New users join Facebook every single day. More than 2.5 million websites have integrated with Facebook. Think about that. More than 2.5 million websites have integrated with Facebook today. Per day. The like button on Facebook is clicked over 3 billion times per day. Why why are numbers like this important for you to know? See, here's here's and I did a Facebook training 2 weeks ago for 2 hours. So I I can't get into that how to do that now. But the the whole purpose of it and the point of it is is advertising. It's advertising. How do traditional companies get their product and services in front of people's face? In front of people's eyeballs. How do they do that? Well, they spend millions of dollars on commercial ads. So that you can see it while you're watching your favorite show on TV. Well, since we don't have those type of advertising dollars, which is, is exactly why I started my own marketing company. Because what my, myself and my partners are doing, we're going to be bringing corporate advertising to network marketing. Corporate marketing to network marketing. But you don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars. But Facebook has... Billions of people looking at it. So if you have friends on Facebook, you add friends on Facebook. All you have to do is post about whatever it is you're doing. Whatever product it is you want to sell. Whatever business it is that you're in. You post it on your own Facebook page and that is your commercial. You don't have to, and, and this is part of the Facebook training, but you don't have to beg people or send them messages or post on their own page about your opportunity or your business. You post on your own page. It's your own, it's your own advertising. It's like a running commercial. I advise you to post three times a day. Once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and once in the evening. Because not everybody is on Facebook at the same time. But it's just you have more eyeballs looking at whatever it is you are advertising. And you can create sales that way. I have a partner. His name is Dr. Michael Smith Sr. 
And part of my business, we sell uh, affordable uh, cell phone carriers. And he was with AT&T, and he was, his contract was about to be up. Well, I had just posted on my Facebook page that I have a uh, 9 times out of 10, cut your cell phone bill in half. No contract, no credit check, no deposit. I posted it on my own Facebook page. He happened to see it, and he called me up and said, Hey, Brandon, you know I, I'm about to uh, uh, get out of my contract with AT&T. What's this deal you have? Can, can, can you save me some money? I said, Yes, I can. And then he said, Well, wait, 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 wait a minute. How are you making money on this? So glad you asked. Every time you pay your phone bill, I get a percentage of that every month. So not only did he sign up for the service, he actually signed up on the business and became my business partner. And now he's a national sales executive today. And because of me posting one little ad on Facebook, I'm making thousands of dollars a month. You see how one social media site can turn into an income for you. You know, 93% of U.S. adult Internet users are on Facebook. 93%. Here's another term you want to learn. People like to buy. They don't like to be sold. I did my meeting in L.A. the other night, and I was telling them that. They think about the used car dealerships. I was, I w I'm looking at purchasing a brand-new car right now, and I, and I put in the system. I was looking at this Audi S8. $140,000 car. And I just, I didn't know how this works. So I, I put my, my telephone number and my email address in, right, that I was interested. And like, <laughs> I mean, within two minutes, my phone and my email blew up from dealerships from Beverly Hills to Riverside wanting to make appointments for me to come down and test drive the car. My phone is still blowing up right now. Well, I don't want to be sold on it. I want to buy it. Don't haggle me about it. You know, let me come to you. That's how people are. So when you're advertising on Facebook and you're doing so on your own page, you're allowing people to come to you and say, hey, you know, what, what product is that? that I, I want to know more about that. It doesn't matter what industry it is or what you're, what you're selling. It will work, especially if you have more. The more friends you have, the more success you'll have. Let's talk about Twitter. Now, this is interesting, especially for me. I have a Twitter account. In fact, I have two of them. And I never use them. <laughs> I don't. I have a lot of followers. Every now and then, my smartphone, when I, it, it has this feature that when you, when you type something in, it goes to Facebook, Twitter, and everything else you're connected to. Those are the only times anybody following me on Twitter sees what I'm doing if I do it from my cell phone. But here's, here's the facts about Twitter. Twitter facts and figures. And if the screen is too small for you, there's a plus magnifying glass at the top that you can, you can zoom in. There are more than 106 million accounts on Twitter. The number of Twitter users increases by 300,000 every day. Twitter gets more than 3 billion requests each day generated by over 180 million unique visitors <laughs> 25 percent of traffic comes from inside twitter.com and 75 percent of traffic comes from outside see that that's me you know when I uh, post something on my my phone and it automatically attaches it to Twitter I never go to twitter.com I think I don't think I've been on twitter.com since the day I actually signed up for a Twitter account it's a power form of social, social media. See here, what makes you retweet? Interesting content, personal connections, humor, incentive, retreat requests, celebrity statuses. See, one thing about Twitter is people like to want to tell their everyday lie. I think that's one reason why I don't, I don't use Twitter too much. I'm, I'm a private person. You, know, you don't need to know what I ate for dinner. Or... or, or what movie I'm seeing right now. That's just not me. But those people who are interesting, because one thing that you need to understand about networking is people sign up and work with people, not businesses. Other attractive people. They want to know all about their lives and what they're doing. And the more Twitter followers you have, that means you might tweet something about your business 
or tweet something about a product that you like. You're not even saying that they should like it, but you're treat tweeting about something you like, and by default, you may have 500,000 people that will go look at whatever it is that you just said you liked. <laughs> Talk about generating sales that way. Yeah, 69% suggested by friends, 47% online search, 44% suggested by Twitter. Even Twitter will suggest friends for you. 31% promotions. It's a huge, and, and the more I think about it, the more I need to get more involved with Twitter because Facebook, you're only allowed to have up to 5,000 friends. So only 5,000 people are actually seeing what you're posting. Twitter, if you have a million people following you and you tweet something like, oh, I'm glad I saved 150 bucks by getting my Samsung Galaxy S3 from Vitel instead of Sprint.com. I'm glad I saved money. You just now have a, a million people just saw what you posted. And they go, whoa, 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 what's Vitel? How can I save money? I want a, I want a Samsung too so I can be just like him. <laughs> right? Yeah, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I need to use this. Let's talk about YouTube. Now, this is one of my favorite. YouTube. Why? Videos. You now have the power within your own hands to become a movie star. A lot of people are intimidated with making videos, and I was when I first got started. But I just did them, and I messed it up. The first video I ever made was the worst. I mean, it was horrible. Lighting was off. I was stumbling. I didn't know what to say. I mean, it was all, it was all over the place. But the more videos you make, the better you get at it. And then you all of a sudden, like Twitter, you start having people following you. I have people now requesting for me to make more videos. I haven't made the Brandon Ivy show uh, tip of the day. I haven't done that in maybe about a month now. And people are asking, hey, well, well, where's my tip of the day, Brandon? Where's my videos? You haven't made a video in a while. When I first came into uh, thinking about using the Internet, I, I looked up this guy. His name was Cedric Harris, and I was watching his videos. And one video he said was, yeah, you want to have success, you need to make one video a day. It doesn't matter what the topic is. It's the f just the fact that you're putting and creating content out there in the world. One video a day. I didn't do a video a day. Now I, th I think I do maybe two or three videos a week on average is what I do. But the more followers you have, the more eyeballs you see seeing your video. 2013 is the year of the video. You can create your own commercial. Literally, you can create your own commercial. Surprising YouTube facts and figures. YouTube exceeds 2 billion views a day. YouTube is the only place where people will go and watch a commercial or watch something, a product, without being on TV. <laughs> right? You don't have uh, a TiVo or DVR for the YouTube. This is nearly double the prime time audience of all three major U.S. broadcast networks combined. 24 hours of video, 24 hours of video uploaded every minute. Every, in fact, right now I'm uploading a video as we speak. It's a brand new video for Vitel that everyone's been asking me about for the last couple of weeks, and I'm uploading it right now. Average person spends 15 minutes a day on YouTube. Oh, I know I spend way more than that. I spend hours a day on YouTube. I spend more time on YouTube than I do on the TV. But the average person is spending 15 minutes a day. More video is uploaded on YouTube in 60 days than all three major U.S. networks created in 60 years. Think about that. 60 years of broadcasting. And YouTube has more videos uploaded in just 60 days. That's amazing. 70% of YouTube's traffic comes from outside the U.S. You, know, <laughs> you have more people outside the U.S. looking at videos that we make than we do right here. If you have an international company or product international, YouTube's the place to go upload it. 70% of the eyeballs that are looking at it aren't even from America. I stress to business owners, if you want to have a long-term successful business, you better have a plan to be international. Not focus on America. 
Americans are fickle. You know, we have the fast food mentality. We want we get excited about something today and we're on to the next tomorrow. America will allow you to at least establish a baseline, but if you want to have long-term success, you've got to be international. Here's some quotes that's important for you to know. People share, read, and generally engage more with any type of content when it's surfaced through friends and people that they know and trust. It's called word of mouth marketing. It is the oldest form of marketing known to man. Think about it. If you go see a good movie, like yesterday, I wanted to go see um, the G.I. Joe movie. I like things that blow up. And uh, like I saw, uh, what was it, uh, the movie with the White House getting captured, uh, Olympus, the other day. I love it. Explosions, gunfire, I love that stuff. Well, my friends told me that G.I. Joe was a horrible movie. And as a result, I didn't go. <laughs> I'll wait till it gets on Amazon.com or Netflix or something. And I saved myself some money. Oh, I think I still would have been entertained anyway, but I saved myself some money. But think about it. If you go see a great movie, do you tell other people about it? Absolutely. Do you trust that the the uh, the commercial you saw, the preview was great, or somebody tells you about it and they said they had a good experience, so you go as well. But when that happens, does your friend get paid from that referral? No. But does that stop you from referring something that was good? Absolutely not. Same with the restaurant. Ladies, if you have a good hairdresser or nail salon or a good shoe store, do you tell your girlfriends about it? Yes. Now think about it. If you own a business and you put a good product in somebody's hand and they tell somebody else about it, that's the greatest form of advertisement because it didn't cost you anything. So posting something that you love and enjoy on Facebook, your friends are going to trust it more than them seeing a commercial about it. There are no magic wands, no hidden tricks, and no secret handshakes that can bring you immediate success. That is the ultimate truth. But with time, energy, and determination, you can get there. Here's the deal. Wherever you are today is a sum result of every decision you've made in your life up until this point, including your bank account. So you might have gone 30 years developing bad habits that have gotten you to this point. And then you get involved saying, oh, I want to make some more money. I'm going to use the internet. And you join a business, and after 60 days, you haven't become rich. You quit and go on to the next and say, that didn't work because I didn't make any money. How in the world do you think you're going to change 30 years of bad habits in 60 days? It's not going to happen. You need to have realistic expectations. Monitor your expectation. This is going to take time. You have to be consistent. And this is also why most people stay and remain broke. It's easy to make money in America. It's just easier staying broke. Most people aren't willing to put in the work. So if you are deciding that you want to use the Internet or join a business or anything to make some extra money, you better have a long-term commitment. Or else I say go back to your job and don't pollute the industry for the rest of us. Instead of one-way interruption, web marketing is about de delivering useful content at just the precise moment that a buyer needs it. Remember the story I told you about Dr. Michael Smith Sr.? He had seen me post about things online all the time. But it was just the right moment where he actually needed the service that he responded to me. Remember what I said, people like to buy, they don't like to be sold. The majority of people will say no and will ignore anything that you have to put out there. The trick is, can you get through the no's until you have the yeses? Internet marketing is like digging a, mine, a gold mine. 97% of the people focus on the 99% dirt and dust <laughs> and keep complaining. God knows that's the truth. 3% of the people focus on the 1% gold and keep collecting. That is me. 
I don't care how many people say no. I don't care that my broke cousin Pookie on the corner says he got involved in online marketing and didn't make any money. You, uh, you accept somebody else's opinion. You accept their lifestyle. All I know is that there are people online making millions of dollars a month from online. And if they can do it, if I learn the skills like they do, I can as well. And that is the key right there. Learn the skills necessary. If you're looking to make money online, find somebody who is already successful in whatever field it is you want to do. Whether it's affiliate marketing, online marketing, network marketing, or, or sell traditional business products online. It doesn't matter. Find somebody who's already successful, duplicate them, do exactly what they do, and then do a, just a little bit more. This isn't school where you're going to get penalized for cheating. You copycat here. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Until you have enough money that you have extra resources to experiment with. But focus on the 1%. You want to become a 1%er. 97% of America is broke. 3% run the world. What's the difference between the 3% and the 97%? They just do things a little bit different. They have the same 24 hours in a day as everybody else. In fact, I'm going to put a quote in here on, on the chat box. Success is doing it oh, I'm sorry success is not in doing certain things success is in doing things in a certain way you may not get that now but save it you will get it later the same 24 hours in a day, one person makes it and another doesn't, and they're doing the same thing. Why? Because one person's doing it in a different way than the other person. Got that? The internet has turned what used to be a controlled one-way message into a real-time dialogue with millions. What does that mean? Well, think it wasn't too long ago that there was no internet. Do you guys remember those days? I do. I'm only 36 years old. Times have, you know, compounding interest and compounding technology. I remember the days, in fact, I still have them where I used to write letters to my girlfriends and put them in a mailbox. Still got them. And you have to wait three days for them to receive it and then for them to respond and then three more days for them to mail it back. So you're looking at a two week conversation before people had emails. When Bill Gates did a uh, an interview, he said, you know, one day, everybody's going to be conversing through email. And the guy laughed, what, what's, what's email? <laughs> what is that? He said, people won't be using letters anymore. We're not even talking about a generation ago. It's the same generation this change has happened. Unheard of. And marketing was you sat in front of a, a TV and you had to force to watch a commercial. We didn't control that dialogue. But now with social media, we can listen to what people's needs are, what they want, and change up our message on the fly immediately. Not only can we send email, see, even email is antiquated because you'd have to email somebody, then you have to wait for them to actually read the email whenever they get in front of their computer and then respond to the email and then you getting back on your computer. See, people, kids today, my 14-year-old son's looking at email like it's too long. Are you kidding me? <laughs> now we have instant messaging, texting, Facebook stuff, alerts on your phone where you're not even home. You still know the moment somebody emails you. I mean, I had to turn my alert thing off because it would let me, every time an email came, beep, 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 beep I turned that crap off. All I have to do is look at it. I know somebody sent me a message. It's immediate conversation. Not only that, they have now vo uh, vo uh, not voice to voice. Yeah, voice to voice, but face to face. I'm still intimidated with that. A lot of people always want to want to face chat with me all the time. And and I, <laughs> contrary to popular belief, I don't like being in front of the camera. I don't. Whoa, you brand you got all those videos. That's because I, I have to. I'm making a lot of money doing so. It doesn't mean I like it. But if I'm going to make $25,000 a month, hey, I'll be in the camera all day long. But I don't even I don't even like doing 
uh, face chat. And that's with one-on-one sometimes. It's a, it's a struggle for me. One day I'll get there. <laughs> I'll get there. In fact, I'm going on a uh, trip. I'm going to be gone all the whole month of April. And I'm going to have my laptop with me. And guess what? I, I, I will do face chat with everybody then. I'll experiment with it. In the hotel rooms and all that good stuff. But anyways, we now control the dialogue. It's not one way. The future of business is social. The future of business has been social since the 90s. The future of business is social. Best way to sell something is to don't sell anything. Earn the awareness, respect, and trust of those who might buy. This is for you know what you know what's funny about this. I got this uh, th- these these uh, quotes from Mahogany last night. But one of my friends, Justice LeBron, I just saw her post. I think it was yesterday or the day before. A quote that is almost just like this. Wow. Yeah, but it's absolutely true. The best way to sell something is to don't sell anything. <laughs> what did I say? People like to buy. They don't like to be sold. See, earn the awareness and respect and trust of those who might buy it. If people trust you and people respect you and people know you, they're far more likely to want to buy whatever it is that you have to offer. No brainer there. Word of mouth marketing has always been important. Today is more important than ever because of the power of the internet. I mean, I... I, I what I tell you, billions of people are on the internet. Word of mouth marketing was great before because you're now you're talking to your neighborhoods and your people. But what if you don't have a warm market? You don't have friends and family. You don't have neighbors. You live out in the sticks somewhere. Walmart's two hour drive away. But you want to learn how to make some extra money and there's no jobs in your in your in your city. Corporate America doesn't even advertise to you. I'm going to give you guys a hint here. With my company of Niche Marketing, and there's a reason why we call it Niche, if you were to open up a, get a huge map of the United States, take a, a candle lid and place that candle lid over every single major city and draw a circle, a circumference of it, of the candle lid, and you look at it, There's millions of people outside of that radius. Corporate America spends 90% of their dollars in those cities, advertising dollars, because that's where the most density of people are. What we're going to do is specifically market to people outside of that radius, people who never get advertised to before, people who never get to see about a business or a product or a service. People who have to drive miles and hours just to get to a decent retail outlet store. That's what my company is all about. Doing something just a little bit different. Word of mouth marketing on top of that. If you help enough people get what they want, you will get whatever you want. Quote by Zig Ziglar. I know somebody just said, Brandon, why did you just tell, you know, your, your secret? Well, first of all, it's not a secret. You know what Phil Jackson used to say back in the 90s after the fifth Chicago Bull championship and him using the triangle offense? He says something phenomenal that my basketball coach you know, say all the time. It doesn't matter that everybody knows the triangle offense. It doesn't matter that everybody knows... Who's the ball going to in the fourth quarter with the game on the line? It is always going to be in Michael Jordan's hands, right? Or Kobe Bryant, or maybe LeBron James. You know the play, yet they still win. Why? It's called execution. It doesn't matter if your opponent knows exactly what you're going to do. You're still going to be able to execute it. It comes back to success is not do in doing certain things. It's doing things in a certain way. So I can give every single secret of what my company's going to do, but we know how to execute it. <laughs> That's the difference there. It's a golden nugget. In today's modern world, people are either asleep or connected. Wow, that's a powerful statement right there. 
In today's modern world, people are either asleep or connected. What do you do the first thing you wake up? Roll out of bed or still in bed, open up the laptop, pick up your phone and see what happened on Facebook. Who sent me a message? What's going on in the, in, in, in the internet world? That's the first thing you do before you even turn on the TV. So you're either asleep or connected. If you don't believe me, let me take away your, your cell phone away for a week and see how you, how you react. I'll give you a story of my father. My father is one of the top people in this position in his field in the entire industry, in the entire nation. He took a trip to D.C. And he had an iPhone, right? And at the ter or ter airport terminal on his way back to California, he left his phone in the terminal. He didn't realize it till he's on the plane, you know, 10,000 feet in the air. My dad is so arrogant. <laughs> and I say that in a good way, okay? <laughs> but he's so arrogant that he actually demanded the pilot to turn the plane around to go pick up his phone. Uh, he, he couldn't go the four-hour flight back to, to, to Cali and then have them, you know, ship his phone back to him. How about this? If you, we all know that on New Year's Eve, uh, the ball drops in New York, right? We turn on the TV and we watch the ball drop. And those of people in New York and Times Square, for decades, everybody looked up at the ball dropping, right? If you watched the TV very closely this year, most people's heads were not up looking at the ball drop. They were down looking at their phone, either recording the event or trying to see if they could see themselves on TV. If you travel, I'm going to be going to the airport tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. And I know what I'm going to see. Back in the day, it used to be people reading books or newspapers or actually having conversations with the person next to them. You know, getting to know the people they're going to be on the plane with. Today, and, and kids are running around wild and crazy, but today, you go to the airport, everyone's got a laptop, an iPad, an iPhone, a tablet, a smartphone. Now, they may be reading a book, but it's on the, it's on the tablet, it's on the Kindle Fire. Oh, yeah, I have my Kindle Fire. <laughs> People aren't talking to each other anymore. Are the kids running around crazy? No, they all have got iPads, too. They're sitting down playing their games on it, on an airplane. You got your headphones on. You, you, nobody's talking to each other. Leave me. I don't want people talking to me. I put my headphones on, get my Kindle Fire out, and look out the window and act like you know I'm asleep or something. Don't talk to me. <laughs> you're either asleep or you're connected. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the importance of using online marketing. Now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to play a quick motivational video. This is your interim. If you choose to log off, go right ahead. But I'm going to come back and very quickly show you what it is that I am actually doing online. What program I chose that allowed me to earn five figures a month in my first 80 days in business. And it also having somebody else pay all of my household bills. If you'd like to learn how I was able to do so, stick around during this video, and we're going to come back with it, with, uh, with, with the, that, that program. Thank you guys for joining us today. This was very unique. This was my first time doing this, actually. And we may do it again. We may have, it, uh, you know, have more sessions like this. But if you like what you heard, uh, get back to the person who's showing you this presentation, and we'll get your questions answered. But stick around, and here is... Ah, what video do I want to show?